we are here at day eight of David's Tees, 24 Days of Tea, 2021 edition. And we're gonna make today short and sweet. As you can see, I'm kind of bumming it out today. I woke up with a massive migraine. Uh, luckily, that's gone, but I haven't really put myself together at all today, and it's my first day off in six days. So we're gonna keep it nice, quick, and smooth. And with that being said, day eight brings us roasted chestnut. Now, this is gonna be an interesting tea because already, I wouldn't have ever expected this to be a kind of tea, and I guess, you know, chestnuts roasting on an open fire is traditional for the holiday time. Um, I've never had a roasted chestnut, if we're being real, um, but let's see what ingredients we have on here, because it sounds like a very interesting tea. Now, it says roasted chestnut is a black tea with um, a little bit of caffeine. It's only one out of the three uh, little spots filled, so we have black tea, apple, candied pineapple, brittle, brown sugar, roasted chicory root, honey bush, chestnut, and stevia extract. Now, if you're wondering where the hazelnut comes in, that is within the brittle ingredients, it looks like. Um, and just scent-wise, it has a nice, like, almost like a chocolatey flavor coming out of it. So I'm getting very excited to try this. Uh, especially because I need something to be a little bit of an upper today after the uh, the morning I've had being so exhausted and feeling like trash, if we're being honest. Um, so, let's take a look at Roasted Chestnut by David C. Now... That's an interesting one. Uh, I know I say all of these teas are interesting because they are, in essence, they're different. They're not like straight teas minus yesterday's Japanese sencha. Um, now this has a nice, I don't want to say a roastedness. You get the, the hazelnut flavor immediately. And there's a whole another flavor in there that makes it a little chocolatey, which I mean people might think is the hazelnut, but it might be the chestnut. Like I said, I've never had chestnuts before, so I don't know if that's the flavor I'm getting off of this. But it has just a really interesting flavor. Um, I want to think it could be from the chicory root as well, but you don't really taste like the apple or the candied pineapple in here. And when we're looking at the rest of the flavors, I want to think it might be that chicory root as I mentioned. But I also don't know what the flavor of honey bush would be. So, in essence, um, roasted chestnut makes for a very interesting black tea because it has such a good flavor to it. And unfortunately, with me not being familiar with a lot of these ingredients that are in here, um, I don't know where it gets its flavor from. But it's good. I can guarantee that to all of you, that roasted chestnut would definitely be a good tea for the morning, for the movies, for a fire being on, to just add to the mood. And, you know, for anyone with tree nut allergies, it does have the hazelnut and the chestnut in it. But it does everything in such a nice way that the flavor, um, composition, and profile within this tea is good. It's very interesting. It's a tea I can recommend. And I want to think everyone should try this one out, guys. That's my quick little review um, for Roasted Chestnut Black Tea by David's Tea. 24 Days of Tea Day 8, 2021 edition, however you want to throw that all together. If you've had Roasted Chestnut, you know the deal. Leave your thoughts down in the comment section below. As always, thank you for watching. Like, share, and subscribe. Until next time, I'll catch you later. See ya. Bye.